More than half of Mississauga's residents identify as people of color, and yet just three non-white candidates were elected to council for the new term. The results are putting renewed attention on a gap in representation at a city hall far less diverse than the actual city it serves. This is our ward. As Imran Hassan was knocking on doors, he recalls a seniors group eager to tell him about having no place to sit at their neighborhood park. The conversation I had was actually in Hindi, so I was able to understand what the seniors were saying to me. It's conversations like this that motivate Hassan to keep campaigning for public office. He ran for a third time in Ward 11 this election, but lost. Alvin Tedro and Martin Reed have become only the second and third non-white councillors elected to the city's 12-member council after incumbent Dipika Damerla won her ward. And I think that's a good step. That's a good step. I mean, Mississauga is so, so diverse and has been for a really, really long time. And that's um, never really been reflected on its city council. I'm really excited to be one of those members now. Mississauga has never had a non-white mayor. And until Damerla's election in 2018, just one other person of color has ever sat on council. Why do you think it's so hard for diverse candidates to be elected here? Our incumbents have done an incredible job representing their residents, but I think if you check the, the individuals who are leading in the open seats will bring more diversity to our council, which makes me very proud. Hassan's respective race was one of three without an incumbent. He lost to a former MP. Tedro and Reed found success in the other two open races. In municipal politics, it's very difficult to beat any incumbent, which is why I think in the open races, you did see uh, a lot of uh, new Canadians, a lot of uh, children of immigrants, uh, diverse candidates running. The only incumbent to be given the boot by voters is one who allegedly harassed and keyed the car of a former colleague. In the three wards that were um, that were open, that we have seen new um, new uh, councillors elected, they were endorsed by the incumbents. Hassan says he'd consider running again. He thinks back to the seniors and their request for separate park benches for women and men, a cultural practice some at City Hall may not understand. I think it's only through that diversity and that uh, inclusivity that we can uh, really feel that uh, everyone's voice is being heard. Karen Siolin, City News.